Today in our Review This Thing, we're gonna review this thing, the TSOS PX9 Carry. This is Adrian with Review This Thing. About a year and a half ago, I did a review on the TSOS PX9 Gen 3 Tactical, and I absolutely loved it. My only complaint was that it was too big and couldn't easily be carried. When I saw that TSOS came out with a carry version of their PX9, and I knew I had to try it out. TSOS was kind enough to let us borrow this one to test out. We've had it out at the range, so I'm ready to tell you, is it everything I built it up to be, or was I disappointed? Let's review this thing. If, after you finish this review, you should decide you want your own, head to the description, click the link where it'll take you to our website, and you'll have more information there. As always, we're gonna cover the facts. First part, fit. I have fairly small hands, so you might think I would prefer a really small grip. But this grip feels a lot like that tactical and I absolutely love it. It does come with extra side and back panels so you can switch those out. If I did the math right, that gives you 27 different fit options for this handgun. So surely you can find one that works for you. I actually just left it the way that it came. It's about five and a half inches at its widest circumference and that fits me perfectly. And the shape of the grip has a whole lot to do with that too. There's this really nice curved area where your thumb fits snugly, plenty of protection against the slide coming back. It also is curved on the back. I like this a lot better than those flatter ones. I feel like it just sits right in the curve of your palm naturally. And the sides are also somewhat beveled, which again, just makes it sit right in your palm. I also like that on the front, there's one curved indentation and then just below there, your other fingers can rest naturally. Plus, with the slightly less than two and a quarter inch grip length, there's plenty of room for my fingers to fit without potentially getting caught in the magazine. So the next thing I look at is how easy is it for me to reach the trigger. My trigger distance is right about four inches, and the trigger distance on the PX9 Carry is about two and three quarter inches. So that is perfect amount of space. I can easily reach the trigger. There's also plenty of space between the front of the trigger guard and the trigger. So your finger isn't gonna get hung up there when you're moving from resting to that shooting position. And my last question is always, can I reach the mag release? On most handguns, I'm not able to leave my hand in my shooting position and then easily reach the mag release. With the TSOS PX9 Carry, I can take shots, hit that mag release button, drop it, switch it, and be ready to go. On most of these reviews, Robbie will jump in with his thoughts. So I'm just going to tell you what he thinks. He's obviously a bigger guy than me, has bigger hands, and he says the exact same thing. He absolutely loves the way this gun fits. So in case it isn't perfectly clear, for me, the TSOS PX9 Carry fits about as good as it possibly could. So because of that, I'm going to have to get fit a 5 out of 5. Next is the TSOS PX9 Carry as advertised. The first thing they advertise is that the new compact size is perfect for everyday carry. At a total of six and a half inches long and about five and a quarter inches tall without an optic, unloaded, I weigh it right at one pound, 10 ounces with this pretty big optic on it. So lightweight enough to be a comfortable carry piece. Plus it actually does come with an inside the waistband holster. So you can go ahead and start wearing it while you look for your perfect holster. Next, they advertise superb ergonomics. I've already touched on that somewhat in fit. There's so many components that make this gun just feel good. The grip, the shape, the size, the indentions, all of it just makes me feel like I have such better control. Plus the grip, it actually has like a rubbery overlay and there's a texture to it. So you're gonna have even greater control. A lot of times I'm a big wuss when it comes to textures on grips but I don't know if it's that rubber that I talked about or if it's just a, an ideal amount of texture that doesn't make my hand sore. There are also textured areas toward the front of the frame where your trigger finger and your opposite thumb can rest comfortably while you shoot. These features, in my opinion, definitely improve ergonomics and make this gun incredibly comfortable to shoot. As a matter of fact, I very likely feel the most confident with this gun and that Gen 3 Tactical of any handgun I've ever shot. And finally, they advertise fast target acquisition. And some of that obviously goes back to those ergonomics and that improved control. Plus, this gun comes with Glock style optics. The rear is serrated and elevated at fiber optic front sides. 
which it, are incredibly easy to see and pick up. But it is also, of course, optics ready. You know that I love a red dot. So anytime I have one on a gun, I'm going to feel more confident. I can definitely get on target quicker by just putting that dot right on. And the height of the factory iron sights is such that you get about a one-third co-witness. So if something happens with your red dot, you can always still get on target. Plus, I'm not really sure why, because TSOS doesn't advertise a reason necessarily, but I feel like this PX9 carry has an incredibly manageable amount of recoil. So when you couple that manageable recoil with those ergonomics, then after you shoot, it is super easy to just get right back on target. So overall, I'm going to have to say the PX9 carry does exactly what TSOS says it should. So we're going to give, as advertised, a 5 out of 5. Now onto construction and durability. The TSOS PX9 carry is a striker-fired semi-automatic 9mm pistol. The frame is a black polymer that feels very sturdy and very well built. The slide is made of forged carbon steel and is also very heavy duty. And it has a 3.5 inch forged and machined barrel with button rifling. The front and rear side of the slide have serrations that make gripping easy when you're trying to work the slide with or without a red dot from the front or the rear. And the front has an integrated rail so you can easily mount a light or a laser. Now I want to talk specifically about this trigger. I love this trigger. It has an integrated trigger safety like a lot of other handguns, but this one is actually comfortable. This one is perfectly flat and wide, so I don't even really notice that it's there. I also like this wide flat trigger. To me, it's just very comfortable and easy to squeeze. And out of the box, the trigger pull was about two pounds, six ounces. So very smooth and very easy to shoot. The PX9 carry comes with two magazines, a loader, cleaning kit, a trigger lock, those interchangeable pieces we talked about, and a hard case with dense foam cutout. So there are a lot of nice extras and it's definitely going to keep it protected. As far as durability, we've shot a lot of rounds through this gun and we've only had two misfires but those were with the same ammunition and they both had dents in the primer. They just didn't go off. So I'm thinking that was more of an ammo issue than a gun issue. Other than that, we've shot probably three or four types and they've done fantastic. The gun itself has held up pretty well so far. It looks brand new and shoots that way too. This section is usually where I want to tell you things I think should be improved upon. The only thing I can think of is that is cut for an RMR style red dot and those are generally more expensive. So if maybe it had that RMSC platform, you could buy a less expensive red dot. Because of that, I'm going to give construction and durability a 4.97 out of 5. Now on to testimonials and reviews. I couldn't find very many scored reviews, but they were all rave reviews and 5 out of 5. I even dug into a few articles and videos. The only video I saw was a short where somebody said when it was really cold, they would pull the trigger, the firing pin wouldn't go right away, it would delay and then hit. Which of course, if that's something that is happening, could be fairly dangerous. That's the only video I found or anywhere that said that, but if you've had that issue, then comment below and let us know. Or if you've had any other issues, that I couldn't find, then comment below and let us know that also. But you know, I'm gonna tell you the score that I found. So testimonials and reviews, it's a five out of five. Now, finally, should you buy this thing? I'm gonna make it easy. Yes, yes, you should buy this thing. If you're looking for a reliable handgun that is super comfortable, great shooting gun, then you definitely should take a look at the TSOS PX9 Gen 3 Carry. It shoots great, and I can also be very accurate with it. Plus, if there's a best part, MSRP on this thing is right at $370. And retail, I've seen it a couple different places for right at $300. So, obviously, this is an easy one. Should you buy this thing? Five out of five. Thanks for watching our TSOS PX9 carry review video. While you're here, like it, share it, comment. If you haven't, subscribe and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss more. Go to our website, reviewthisthingtv.com and check us out on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and X.